What are you thinking? <laughs> I'm excited to see Cypher. <laughs> RJ can't stop giggling. Like, even if we leave him at home without the LC for the day, when we get back, he goes crazy. Like, oh my gosh, I thought you guys were gone forever. So we expect something, something similar this time. Here we go. Um, I bet he hears us. I bet he can hear us. Cypher. Hello. Hi, peace. Hey, hey, do you remember us? Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Hey, hey, we missed hey. you. Where were you? Yes, we missed you so much. Where did you go? <laughs> He's like, oh, mm -hmm. we missed you, Sipes. Me? Yes. Did you have fun at Peppers at Ate Raquel's? <laughs> Giving us non stop kisses now. That is home. Yeah, that is home. Yeah, that is home. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We missed you. Huh? <laughs> now he's, he's going in the corner because he wants us to play. Yes. Yeah. Sice, we're back. We're, we're back. back. I told you we'll be back. <laughs> 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 oh, we miss this dog so much. All right, guys, it's another day. And guess what? I'm in, uh, I guess, sort of cowboy material because we are heading somewhere special, Mabuhai Squad. Yes, right now. We are here at the Mabuhai Squad bar. Yes, there's Ate Elsie. Good morning, Ate Elsie. There's Heinz. Good morning, Heinz. There's RJ and Cypher. The vet gave us clearance that he's well enough to travel. All right, Mabuhai Squad farmhouse. Looks like they're still doing construction. Oh, and they're starting to build the wall now for the second floor. How awesome. Oh, and they're also adding the roof deck. Roofing now. I don't know what the technical term is for like those metal things on which they're gonna pour concrete. Oh, so cool. OMG. Every time I see this, I'm just like, I, I'm in disbelief. I can't believe we will be moving here this year. I can't wait, Mabu High Squad. By the way, guys, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the daily vlogs. My name is Mikey Bustos. We are here in Cavite, Philippines, the site of our future home of RJ and I and our team. And it's in it's in like a rural place. It's a farm and it's funny there was a comment from one of you saying that's not a farm there's a pool and that's just a mansion with a big backyard no this is a farm guys this entire subdivision is a collection of little farm plots um, so we can have farm animals we can grow crops there's a dragon fruit crop in our neighbor's yard another neighbor here across from us is just completely off the grid no electricity from the city no water from the city the water comes from a well like this is legit farming guys this is not you know it's just RJ and I's personal preference to also make it, I don't know, I looked it up online and apparently there's a term for it. It's called glarming, AKA glamorous farming. <laughs> Anyways, let's look at the yard, guys. Ooh, guys, look what has been erected. OMG, it's huge. This is our staff house. At the LC, what do you think? <laughs> uh? Gusto ko. Uh, she says, gusto ko, which means I like it. Ooh, wow. Oh, it's so beautiful. Now, just like the home, the staff house will be uh, decorated belly style. So with a nice belly roof, decorated nicely from the outside. Another thing they're doing right now is um, the workers are digging the area where the piping will be for the pool so in case we need to drain the pool water we could do so and I guess it goes all the way out there I guess this is another reason why we need a non chlorinated pool because if we're gonna be draining this water we don't want chlorine water to go into the water system no so RJ and I are gonna look into we heard there are some freshwater pool systems available and even saltwater pool systems available, which I think are a bit more eco-friendly. But then I'm th I need to do my research because then I'm thinking like a saltwater pool water might not be good for the water system too. Like all of a sudden we turn the creek saline. <laughs> That'll kill like life, I think. Anyways, we, we need to think about what's going on here. Or maybe the water will be draining into like sewage and not into the river system. What did you say, Ate? Yes, it is cool here. Love it. Ate Elsie was like, we don't need aircon here. <laughs> This is true. Guys, let's visit Legaisi. Here's Legaya's burial site. And look, Kamote is growing here. Sweet potato is growing here. She loved sweet potato. And that? there's a butterfly. Oh my gosh. 
gosh, according to Philippine superstition, when you see butterflies, it means someone from the dead is here. Is that you, Legaisi? And guys, look at our bananas. Guys, remember the last time we were here? Look, the bananas have grown. Yay, they're growing now. They'll soon be ready to pick Mabuhay Squad Farm's first set of bananas. Guys, seriously now, like legit vegetables and fruits growing. Okay, wait, I wanna go check our papaya now. We got some gabi, which is taro. And guys, look, the workers have wrapped the papaya to save it from pests or like bats or other creatures that would eat. Even there, see, they just put a little bag around the growing papaya, love it. So good. Look up there, more papayas growing. Oh, it's so good. Guys, I'm so happy. Honestly, the soil here is just totally, totally great for the plants. See more sweet potato growing on, on the ground just randomly. Like it looks like vegetables and fruits are just growing everywhere. <laughs> OMG guys, look, they've completely concreted this bottom part. Underneath the ant room, see that? Sweet. OMG guys, look at this. You guys know what this is? This here is a monitor lizard. It must have died on the property. Look at its claw. There's a claw right there. OMG, it's so big. You see guys, there are monitor lizards at the Mabuhay Squad Farm. OMG. Whoa, see all the flies eating it? I see ants there eating it too. Oh, wow. All right, so the workers are gonna build three steps that will lead up to the kitchen. This kitchen will have a sliding glass panel so we could go into the kitchen or come out here, maybe have breakfast out here if we want. So that's gonna be really nice. There will also be stairs there. So there's gonna be another door there. Guys, we have stairs. All right. We can actually use the stairs to get upstairs now. Love it. Look how high the stairs are. Now guys, I wanna see if the dog is here. Remember, there was a dog that gave birth. Where's the dog? Oh, maybe she moved her nest. Aw. Anyways, it's still blessed, this bathroom here, which is part of like the senior's room on the first floor. She had puppies here. There was a like a, an Aspen. I, I don't want to call it a street dog because it's not living on the street. It just roams freely through the neighborhood and she, she comes here and she had puppies a couple weeks back. So I don't know where they are now. A hairy Asian with a cowboy hat. Hey Saiz, this is your future home too. He's so excited. He's happy to be here. Daddy's saying hi to you Saiz. Let's try going up. All right guys, let's go up the stairs, our makeshift stairs, before they're done. Oh, kind of dangerous. Stairs missing. I feel like I'm on a Dungeons and Dragons adventure. Oh, salamat. Thank you, thank you. Ooh, second floor. So cool. So, so cool. Here's the studio room, currently under construction still. They're completing wirings. Aviary, of course. There. Now, RJ and I have been uh, doing shopping for the home, like just random stuff. Stuff for the kitchen, chandeliers, and random things like that for the home. We have not been vlogging it, personal reasons, <laughs> but for sure you guys will see what we've ended up choosing for some of that stuff. But I love that, see here's the front door, that right when you enter, you can see the aviary. I love that. It's like, it's, it's kind of like the central feature of the home, I suppose. And like when you enter a home, isn't it nice to see kind of like a, a tropical sort of like courtyard and birds flying around. I don't know, for me it is. It's kind of like having a massive aquarium or terrarium, but inside instead of insects, it's like birds. Okay, I'm gonna go to the second floor, but through this plank. Ooh. Yay, sweet. Okay, so here's again our bathroom of the master bedroom. Now, RJ and I have been looking at various bathtubs and jacuzzi designs, and we can't wait for you guys to see what we've chosen. That should be going here. Our shower, somewhere here. There's gonna be a toilet here, all of that. This here is our bedroom. There's RJ, he's staring again, and he's imagining our closet room. What are you thinking? What are you trying to envision? The closet room also has a bathroom in case we don't want to have to go all the way to the other end of the bedroom um, and say we're in the closet, right? <laughs> Get it? We're in the closet. <laughs> Sorry, let's say we're in the closet and like we're getting dressed, but we need to use the bathroom or we want to look at ourselves in the bathroom. We could go there. There probably will be a mirror somewhere in the closet room. We have to decide where. <laughs> yeah, size. He's so excited, guys. But we're like reluctant to let him run around. First of all, because we want his leg to heal. He's overcoming a uh, fractured hip and he's still healing, so he can't be running around like crazy. But also, we're weary because he's recovering from this thing called 
Ehrlichia, which is a bacteria that's transferred to dogs by way of a dog tick. For those of you who are new, Cypher started showing symptoms of like listlessness, loss of appetite, dizziness, disorientation, and we're like, what is going on? This can't be from his fracture. So we took him to the vet, they took a blood test, they saw his platelets were low, and they discovered he's got this bacteria, again, came from a tick. And we're like, where did this tick come from? And so after some research, we found out that this bacteria, Ehrlichia, is very common and endemic to the Philippines. I'm like, what? How come I never heard about this? So apparently like dog owners here in the Philippines have to be aware of this thing called Ehrlichia. And it's again, it's transferred from dog ticks and they won't be able to eradicate it from the Philippines because street dogs or aspins as they call them here in Philippines are the natural reservoir. They carry this bacteria. So he's been on antibiotics, which he's off now. And so far he's not showing signs of the Ehrlichiosis. But now we're like concerned. We're like, okay, so does that mean we can't put Cypher down on the farm because he might get Ehrlichiosis again? Or, you know what I mean? We have all these questions. We also realized, okay, so for our future dogs, how are they going to be able to run around here? And one of the things I was considering was like, to kind of like get all of the street dogs in this neighborhood and neuter them so that they stop reproducing. But RJ's like, you can't do that. Some of these street dogs belong to people. But there are certain soaps you can buy that if you like continue to use this soap, it will somehow kill any like tick eggs. Basically, you just have to do all measures to make sure your dogs don't get the ticks. Um, so one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get um, a lot of guinea fowl, which are famous for eating ticks. We're gonna release them on the property Hopefully they help pick at any like ticks roaming around from the street dogs. According to our math, Cypher could have gotten the Ehrlichiosis from a tick either here or in some of the other places we visited. Yeah, it's this new thing we have to make sure we monitor for our future dog pack. You know what I mean? Making sure that they are tick free, that the property is as tick free as possible. Because I want to go outside with my dogs. You know what I'm saying? Like I want to run through the neighborhood with my dog. I, I want working dogs to work with our animals. Hey Sives, I guess you'll be team indoor dog. <laughs> Although my chihuahua from Toronto, Pinoy, he's not a teacup, he's just standard size chihuahua. He would love this. He would be running out here. But I guess Cypher's a little kind of weak. He was the runt, so he's smaller than his brother, Pepper. And also a little more frail, I suppose, than Pepper. Um, so for all of you guys wanting teacup dogs, this is something you need to like realize. Like they can be a little more frail, not like like if you're if you're looking for a really sporty dog, probably not the best dog to choose. They're really more for like the home. Oh, we have a dog here. Hi there. Oh my gosh, they're everywhere now. Hello. I'm guessing this is a mom and her puppies. Hi there. Yes, hello. We will be your neighbors soon. What's your name? Oh, oh, oh. The dog's going to discipline someone. The dogs here have like an hierarchy. There's like a, they've established a social structure. See how fast she ran? This girl looks like the boss. Yay, Mabuha Squad, the sun is out, woohoo! Beautiful, beautiful day. Thank you, thank you, life. Thank you, Lord.